Okay, welcome back to another review. Today I got the Wawoto H8 uh, Smart Home Projector. This thing is really small and it projects in HD and I just wanted to do a quick review on it in case you guys are considering, you know, getting a, a projector for your for your home or your basement or, you know, something to watch movies on or sports or something like that. This thing's a great option. It's, it's pretty cheap for what you get. So here are the specs on it. It, uh, it operates on Android. It does have Wi-Fi enabled. Um, it does support HD viewing. You can, even though it is Android, you can do AirPlay on it, which is nice. So you can play your content from your iPhone or iPad right on this device uh, or mirror your device on it. Uh, it does support 3D. Projection goes all the way up to 180 inches. And you can kind of see the rest of it. These are the inputs, HDMI, USB, and uh, SD slots. And yeah, you can see this is the hours that it's rated at. All right, enough with the specs. Let's go see how it looks. All right, so you can see that mine's already set up here. Um, I'll put a link in the description for everything in here that I've used to do my setup. This is just a basic wall mount that you can use. It's very cheap, easy to install, but you can see this is the projector right here. You can see how small it is. I'll put my hand next to it. And that's how small it is. It's super small, super light, super quiet. It's on right now, if you can hear it. That's about all the, the noise that it'll make. Just this small little fan in there. And on the bot or on the top, actually, and this is the top, you have some controls for playing and, and uh, cursor to get to different menu options on this side you have the power button and on the back is all the inputs so you have an ethernet so you can connect a USB HDMI uh, and the power and I just want to show you the Wawoto um, remote that they send you and it's right here it's very basic power volume um, scrolling cursor and you know, back button, home button, there's a 3D button, and then a settings button right here. All right, so I'm gonna fire this baby up. We'll see how it looks, see how fast it starts up. Please uh, take into account that this room is not completely dark. You can see there's some light leaking in, but I'll just show you what it looks like with, you know, a little bit of light in the room. Okay, so I just pressed the button. We'll see how fast it takes to load up here. So you can see how bright it is right off the bat. Loading up. I have a Roku attached to this, so it should, once it recognizes the Roku, go right to it. And there it is. So that's how fast it takes to load up. I'm just gonna play a channel uh, from my YouTube TV, just so you can get an idea of what the picture looks like in a, a dimly lit room, but still some light bleed coming in. And then you can hear the speakers as well, so I'll Go ahead and turn something on. I'll just click the first one here. Offense is 81 points out of those out of the big three yesterday. That was dominating. Um, they've been a top three, top five offense all year long. The only thing that they don't do extremely well is shoot the three-point ball. But that's because they get to the rack and they get quality shots maybe better than anybody else. So if all three of those guys are going and, and so you can see the picture is fantastic. I love the picture, especially for the price. I don't think you can get much better picture for the price. Everything looks good. The colors are very vibrant. I will say, and you can kind of see it on this one right here, the back, the background is a little bit saturated. The colors are a little bit saturated on this. Um, it's not a huge problem for me, and I'm sure if you play with the settings enough, you could probably fix it. To me, I kind of like the saturation a little bit, but um, just so you know that it, it is a little bit saturated. The speakers are okay. I will say that the 
you know, you're probably better off getting some sort of Bluetooth or uh, a connected speaker, external speaker for these. I'll just pump it up one more time so you can hear it. But they're going to be able to be a threat to just about anybody just for the sheer talent they have at the top of the roster. But last year. Yeah, it's not just So, you, I mean, you can definitely hear them if it's quiet enough, but if you're watching a movie, you're watching sports, you're definitely going to want something that has a little bit more bass. These are kind of twingy, and it's, it's not very, there's not much bass on them. Again, it's a very small device, so it's not going to have the best speakers. So I quickly just wanted to show you the home screen here. So this is the load-up screen that the WoWo2 has. It's, uh, it has your AirPlay here, so you can set up, again, your, your iPad or iPhone with it. Uh, you can browse the internet. There's a, there's a very limited app store, but I think there's Netflix and a few others on there that you could get. So if you didn't have like a something you wanted to plug into it, like a Roku or Apple TV or something like that, you could browse this app store. And then you can go and kind of fix these are the settings. You can see what's plugged into the HDMI and the AV. And then here are some of the settings. Uh, you can go through these and set these up. This is kind of where you can play with the picture, set up the internet, do software updates and that sort of thing. And then here's some just some quick access settings as well. So you can either click on them here or go to the settings. So that's basically it guys. I mean this is a, it's a, I love it for, for the price for sure. But it also plays back in HD. It's got a great picture. My wife and I use this all the time to watch movies. When I have some friends over, we'll come down and watch some sports games down here. And it's it's fantastic for those type of situations. Altogether, you know, I spent less than, I think, $500 for this entire package. And you can't get even a, a nice 45, 50-inch flat screen TV for that price. So. I'm, I'm extremely happy. I would definitely recommend buying this or something similar um, if you're looking for something to you know, watch movies or like I said, sports or events or something on. I think it's an awesome option. So you can see it actually, I mean, it does really well in even a dimly lit room. In a completely dark room, it looks even better. I will say that if there's a lot of light, you know, it gets pretty washed out. You can still make out things, but it's still pretty washed out. So just make sure that you can, you know, have a room that has at least you can limit the the light that comes into it other than that guys i hope you enjoyed the review i hope uh if, you, if you're looking for some sort of home theater system that this review helps you and, and maybe makes a buying decision for you um and check out more videos in the future